This video will demonstrate HVLA for type 1 lumbar joint dysfunctions. For the purposes of this demonstration, L2 through 4 is neutral, side bent right, and rotated left, with the apex of the curve at L3. The patient lies in the left lateral recumbent position, with the posterior transverse process down. Shoulders and knees should be perpendicular to the table, with feet and knees together. The, phys the physician stands in front of the patient with the cephalide hand monitoring the apex of the curve, in this example L3. With the caudite hand, flex and extend the lower extremities to find the point of maximum ease. With the, ca with the caudite hand, flex the right knee forward and place the foot in the left popliteal space. The shoulders should stay perpendicular to the table to maintain neutral mechanics. Monitor at L3 with the caudate hand and grasp the patient's elbow with the cephalad hand. Pull the patient's elbow anteriorly to induce right rotation and left side bending. The physician's forearm contacts the patient's right axilla and pectoral region, maintaining right rotation from above. The caudate forearm pulls the pelvis into left rotation, maintaining the apex of the curve perpendicular to the table. Once the barrier is fully engaged, instruct the patient to inhale and exhale, taking up any remaining slack in all planes during exhalation. At the end of exhalation, apply the final corrective thrust. This comes from the physician's body weight dropping onto the forearms. This force will bring the pelvis anteriorly with the caudal forearm. Do not thrust against the shoulder. It should only provide a gentle stabilizing force. Return the patient to neutral and reassess.